An alarming new report shows that the sugar industry sweetened the truth, suppressing the health risks of sugar. The Journal of the American Medical Association reveals that scientists were paid in the 1960s to play down the link between sugar and heart disease and instead make saturated fat the culprit. What's good, Life Gainers? You're back in the building with Lamont Tyson, running the Life Gains channel, one of the most dynamic channels on YouTube. Today we're talking about all the bad things that happen to the body from eating sugar. A lot of people don't even know that sugar is toxic to the body because they've come so used to it. But let's talk about what happens when you kick that sugar habit to the curve. But first, y'all know on this channel, we put on our plus seven glasses today of getting rid of sugar, sexy as hell, because I'm working on skilling my craft, bringing you a more informed YouTube experience, something better to look at. Please subscribe to my channel, turn on those notifications so you get my videos when I drop them. Also go check out the Life Game Financial channel. I have started putting more content back up there. And I've covered so far on that channel, going to the movie theaters for free, a checking account that gives you 4% return, how to get started investing in real estate, all the things I've done to give me life gains I'm trying to share with you. So again, I'll remind you guys, my wife is a doctor at Duke, kidney doctor at that, hypertension specialist, and she works with diabetes. I have learned through attrition and doing these things on my own, that sugar is very toxic to the body because when I started dieting, I kicked sugar to the curve and then when I got back on it, I noticed all these weird things that you wouldn't know if you don't kick sugar to the curve. So let me give you a list of things that happen, then we'll kind of talk about why. Number one, you'll lose appetite to sugar if you kick it to the curve. Number two, you'll become less hungry when you kick sugar to the curve. Number three, you'll notice less fatigue. Number four, you'll notice that you will lose a whole lot of water when you first kick it to the curve, and then you also start losing fat. You'll enhance your mood, um, your skin looks better, you'll be less stiff, and fellas, your testosterone is gonna go through the roof. It's gonna be so high, you might wanna go grab a horse and do what you wanna do. Nah, for real, don't do that. I'm just playing about that. But your testosterone goes completely through the roof, and the reason for all these changes in the body is because when you have too much sugar, you become insulin resistant. When you cut the sugar and allow your body to let its insulin stabilize itself, you are allowed to absorb these nutrients. Men, testosterone goes through the roof because sugar blunts it. You start noticing that because you are not eating the sugar, you don't want it. So that's how the loss of appetite comes in. I mean, the loss of appetite to sugar comes in. And your blood sugar becomes regulated. That's where the less hungry comes in. And with regulated blood sugars, you also notice that you have less fatigue. A lot of people didn't understand that sugar is very inflammatory to the body. So when you cut it and you're replacing it with healthy things like strawberries, blueberries, complex things that have dietary fiber, to nullify the sugar in your system, you wind up being able to repair your body more and more and you enhance your ability to feel better. These new studies have come out that indicate about how bad sugar is for the body, how inflammatory it is for the body. And most of my clients that I work with that wind up kicking sugar to the curve can also attest to these same things. Now the problem that people have in the very beginning, the first three days when you're kicking sugar to the curb, you're gonna be very grouchy, your body is fighting you because you're used to it, but there are some things you can put in place to help you overcome that so that you can get on the road to using ketones and other nutrients, your fat cells that you've already got stored up to lose weight. So I would recommend getting B12 vitamin and some potassium vitamins if you're gonna to decide to kick that sugar to the curb and use it for the first three days to help with all the cravings, to help with the grouchiness, to help with your headaches, to help with the body trying to buck you because you're trying to do something better in your life to sustain good health. Now, if you need a coach to help you out with that, hit me up, especially if you're in the triad area of NC. I am taking clients again. I have a dynamic team I work with from my wife who's, like I said, a kidney doctor, diabetes specialist, hypertension specialist. I also work with a coach 
in Greensboro who runs the biggest MPC bodybuilding show in all the states so I can help you with that manner. And for your general health and fitness and nutrition needs, you got your boy here who's a walking testament to help you make those gains. Considering I went from 350 pounds all the way down to 195, I retain muscle mass, I don't have a whole lot of saggy skin, and I want to help you guys reach those goals as well. That's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to like my video. Please comment and subscribe. Go get yourself a life game. Hit me up. Check my video description. I also got online meal plans I can help you construct if you're not in the triad area because it's about helping you guys make those life games. And until the next sex is hell video, I'll see you.